creative expression. Hi, I'm Brandy Alexandria Smith. For me, creating a personal masterpiece is equivalent to a chemical high. Deep in a black book of my mind, any object can be personified and any color transformed. I have been addicted to the highs and lows of graffiti for six years. This aerosol habit has consumed me. It rests in my mind and waits in my eyes. I get high daily. My fingers enable me to express what I feel. Sometimes it seems like my mouth seals shut, my words tangled around my tongue, and I swallow my voice. That's when I get high the most. I run back and forth to Walmart buying spray cans. I try to contain my expressive cravings, but each try fails me. There is no abstinence for aerosol. People treat and view graffiti as a disease, tagging it with negativity and disdain. I see graffiti as an art form, and to me, it's no different than singing, playing an instrument, or dancing on the sidewalks of America's busy city streets. The big debate on whether graffiti is an art form or an eyesore is never ending. There are facts to support the negative aspects to tagging, such as gang signs, hate symbols, and other offensive writings. However, graffiti as an art form has been displayed publicly and practiced regularly since the 60s. Many well-known artists grew to fame with their feet wet in aerosol. With each new generation, more curiosity and talent is born into this culture. As a child, I will always have blank paper or post-its at hand, just in case I felt creative. It wasn't until I reached my teenage years when I was introduced to aerosol spray cans. My first time bombing was full of emotion. I was afraid of being caught and going to jail. I was nervous not to mess up, and I was anxious to see my end result. I will never forget that night or my first mural. After my first time jitters passed, I was absolutely hooked. From that night on, my thoughts were of nothing but murals. What colors I would use and what characters I would create next. My fingers made my hands look like a rainbow due to all the colors that stained my skin. As I grew and gained more knowledge, I realized that vandalism was not for me. I had to stop the destructive cycle plaguing our city walls, doors, trains, and trucks. I knew that I would be alone in my pursuit, but I didn't back down. For the first time, I found myself agreeing with the graffiti haters. I was siding with the very people who looked down on my craft. This caused many problems with the graffiti artists I knew. No longer was I an ally. They now viewed me as a traitor, and I had no respect in their world. So now, here I am, 22 and no longer a vandal. Though I have lost friends, I have gained a sense of self. After a while, getting high off of graffiti was not satisfying, so I chose to try my hands in digital designs as a way to expand my colorful horizon. With the PC field growing, there are way more opportunities for me to achieve a career worthwhile and become successful. I'm not as experienced in digital creations as I am with aerosol creations. However, I'm willing to take all the necessary steps to ensure myself a future as bright as the color yellow.